happy. What am I gonna do? <laughs> my head and I'm just walking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just like, Hey guys, first kiss on here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we've been doing a story time on how I found out I was pregnant. After I found out I was pregnant, it was like a couple of signs that I was looking at like, dang, so, sis, she really was pregnant. So, <laughs> how you not know? So anyways, so, I started suspecting it because we went to Jamaica in September. Um, we were there for like two and a half weeks, so by the time I came back, a few days after we came back, I knew that I was supposed to come on by women's cycle. So, usually... The regular routine when I come to my women's cycle I would get bloated and I would get my little booby cramps but they would usually be like a few days before like a few days before it actually happened so now at this cycle since my boobs was hurting for like almost two weeks or more and it was like a hurt that I never felt before it was like I don't even know how to describe it. It was tender. If you touched it, anything like that, it would just be like, oh my God, ow, that hurts. That was that. So then, next time, bloating. Like, I was bloated. Like, I could eat any little thing and I would just feel stuff. Like, my stomach was really, like, bloated. And I'm like, that is so weird. It's like, that's weird. And I'm noticing all these things, but I'm not saying anything to anyone because I'm like, I don't want to gas nobody up and it's just a throw off or something because we was traveling, you know? So anyways, that and then, oh my God, don't talk about going to the bathroom. I was using the bathroom like every 30 minutes, literally nonstop. And sometimes it wouldn't even be barely anything. Every minute I was running to the bathroom, I'm like, yo, something's wrong. So then now, I think I was due for it October 2nd or something like that and my birthday is october 3rd so it was october 1st everybody was going to work i was in the house by myself and i'm like dang let me just do this to clear my conscience because my best friend kept asking me she's like what do you want to do for your birthday what do you want to do and usually we go to a bar or something and we drink and we have fun so this time i'm just like i don't want to do nothing for my birthday <laughs> And she's like, what do you mean you don't want to do nothing for your birthday? And it's just like, um, I'm not in the mood to do nothing for my birthday this year. Like, we just came back from Jamaica spending my money. Like, I just want to relax. I don't want to do nothing. So then, while well, everybody gone to work, I'm like, you know what? Just to clear my mind and clear my conscience, let me just take this real quick so my mind can be clear. And I know for a fact that I'm not. Because I really, I'm like, I'm not. I'm really not. So... <laughs> I have this, so I have no recordings or nothing of this because in my mind, this was just supposed to be a test to clear my conscience. Like, sis, there's nothing wrong with you. You can go and turn up for your birthday. So I'm like, okay, let me go to the dollar store and do it. Because I'm like, I don't think it matters. Dollar store, clear blue, early, all these things, spending all this money on these tests. I'm like, it, it don't matter. Either way, you're going to get the same result. So I go to the... Walk to the Dallas store, pick up two. Because at this time, it's like in the middle of the day. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this one right now. And it's going to say negative, And it's still not going to clear my mind because it's not early morning. And they claim you're supposed to do it early in the morning. So I pick up two. So I'm sitting there. At first, I'm like, I'm going to just eat, relax, and do it a little. But then I get back in the house, and it's just taunting me. And I'm like, no, let me just go and take it because this is serious now. So I go in the bathroom now. I actually have a picture of the test. <laughs> I go to the bathroom now to do it. And I think it said do three drops inside the thing or something. I'm shaking at this point because <laughs> as confident as I am that I'm not, I don't know, I just started shaking. Like the thought of even having to take this test right now is killing me. So I go to put the drops in there and probably like only one fell in there because my hand is shaking that bad. So the... <laughs> It filled up so fast, like it just ran through the screen, but it was faint. So I said, no, 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 no. One drop can't clarify and tell me that I am right now. So I'm like, no, no, there's something wrong with this one. So the next one now that I'm supposed to be taking the next morning, I ended up taking it right then and there. So I go, 
like all right we're going to do this right way so i put three drops in there girl that one came back twice as dark as the first one did i was like <laughs> i literally had to pause for a second and like in the bathroom there's a mirror so i'm like staring in the mirror at this point like sis what <laughs> like, you're joking and then there's nobody in the house it's just me so at this point my heart is racing like i feel like i'm about to pass out somewhere like what am i gonna do did, did this can't like me no me no so i'm pacing back and forth back and forth back and forth i'm holding my head and i'm just walking back and forth back and forth back and forth and i'm just like and i keep going to look at this ass and every minute i'm like this holding my head scratching my head girl i was lost i didn't know what to do at this point i'm like this is a lie this is a joke this is a whole complete joke no so then at this point i'm like no these dollar sets mm -mm. after all last smack that i was talking about it don't matter dollar i was like no these dollar sets mm -mm, something wrong something is seriously wrong the test fill up so fast i didn't have no time to digest it i was just like so then now at this point i'm texting troy i text troy i'm like call me as soon as you get this message i don't know where this boy done gone he not answering and then i text my best friend i'm like what time are you coming home today <laughs> like what time you get off and then she answered and she's like why was up i was like oh nothing just asking and then i'm like if i really am i don't want to tell my mom this way <laughs> But then nobody else is answering like 15 minutes gone nobody else is answering us so i text my mom i'm like mom one dragged out message <laughs> my mom is so paranoid with everything and i knew i should have never texted her like that but i'm in a panic attack like i didn't know what to do so i'm just like mom and she's like yeah Percy. and i just sent her the picture <laughs> of the I just sent her the picture. Let me see if I still have the messages. So I just sent her the picture and she's like, OMG, you're gonna be such a great mom. And I'm looking at my phone like, mom, like, mom. I'm in the middle of an anxiety attack right now, panicking that I just find this out and you're here telling me I'm gonna be a great mom. I don't wanna hear that right now. She's like, I'm so happy for you and I'm just like, happy <laughs> so i'm trying to respond to her and have a regular conversation like yeah girl yeah but i'm tearing up at this point and everything like sis happy my whole life just flashed before my face i don't i don't even think happy was an emotion i was feeling at the moment i don't it was far far from my mind so now i'm texting her i tell her and then now everybody want to start responding so then there was a group chat danny and troy they respond in there so danny goes you're lying like automatically she just assumed that i was lying and i'm like sis why would i lie and she's like you're lying you're just trying to get me excited i'm like so what the hell everybody's just excited at this point and i'm the only person that's freaking out and she's like no you're lying i'm like so then her little brother now he's like what he say he's like this is a prank i'm like a prank what what is wrong with you people like i'm not about to joke about something like this and he's like no this is a prank you're pranking us you're pranking us and i'm like you know what i don't have time so at this point i was ready to start responding troy go now and sends a, that whole video clip i'm gonna insert it in this video too of him dancing all excited and i'm like what in the world is wrong so at this point i'm thinking i'm going i'm really going crazy in the middle of an anxiety attack sitting there freaking out my life flashes before my everybody is excited and i'm like bruh bruh so i'm like you know what I'm not going to do this. But I was about to go and buy a whole bunch of more pregnancy sets to confirm it. So I left it at that. I told them for first. And I'm like, when I go to the doctor, whatever, and it's confirmed, then I'll tell all my siblings and everything. Because I'm like, I'm not about to excite all these people up for nothing. Still in denial. It's there, but in my mind, it still wasn't true. So <laughs> we went. Um, they scheduled me. 
I found out my birthday was on I think a Wednesday so I probably found out that Monday or something like that and then they scheduled me for the next week so when I went in there that was the clip of me in the gown and sis is like yep you're definitely pregnant and I'm like okay cool let that sink in so now <laughs> It's still, like, at that point, it's like, precious, you are. It's no way around it. And I'm like, okay, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant, and I'm just, like, trying to mentally tell myself that. Sis, you're pregnant. Well, it's definitely kind of hard to believe, but I had to convince myself that I was. So, at this point, I'm like, okay. Definitely not going nowhere for my birthday. My initial reaction, I was terrified and scared. Like, I didn't know what to do what was about to happen, anything. But then with everybody else being so happy and supportive, it was just like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're about to have a baby. And my brothers, everybody, when I told them, they were all excited, like tables turned around. I'm usually the one pep talking everybody for some life changing moment that's about to happen. Everybody ended up having to pep talk me. Nobody knows my true reaction. So when everybody see this, they're just going to be like, dang sis. Now it all makes sense. I definitely wasn't excited. I was terrified. I didn't know what was going to happen. And my initial response was like, I need to get to my mother. Like I'm going to need my mother's help. Like I never thought that I would be in this position. I need sis to teach me everything. Like, I know, I mean, I practically raised, helped raise all of my siblings, but the thought of having my own, it was just like, dang, bro, no. I need my mama. I need her, and I need her now. We're about to do this, but we're going to have to do this together as a team because I can't do it alone. Pretty interesting start. I'm going to try to sum it up, um, all the symptoms, everything, and break it down into first trimester, second trimester, all that good stuff so that you guys can get a feel of my whole experience, everything. At this point, everybody's telling me that pregnancy looks so great on me, but it definitely was not all that great in the beginning. Stay tuned for the next video and I will definitely put you guys on to my first trimester and how all that jazz went. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!